Hey, what's going on everyone? yoda 2003 here, and today I'm doing yet another Shuriken boot video. So as you can see, we have the same old setup, and a brand new disc inside of Shuriken's baby book, I like to call it. You know, because it looks like a book, you know? So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty guys, let's get ready to boot into Shuriken. So, let's go ahead and reboot the machine. Alright, after the outage we are back. And I have forgotten to plug in the keyboard, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. There we go. Now let's go ahead and choose USB CD and we'll go ahead and boot into Shuriken. Brand new, this just in. Image rendering. <laughs> Amazing, right? And a brand new interface as well. You finally got your command line arrow and also these weird characters when you press the arrow keys. <laughs> It's, it's really weird. So anyways, let's go ahead and use the help command to see what we've got. So, looks like we have the shutdown command, which has a brand new name. It's missing the O. Then the reboot command is actually different from the shutdown command. Because the reboot command actually just restarts the execution of Shuriken. Whereas the shutdown dash R will actually reboot the BIOS and everything. And then you have the traditional set time and display time commands. And then we have a brand new command called the list dir. Oops. And that's going to list all of our files for us, including some applications such as TextPad and uh, rend image as well as minor guesser drawer and calculator so let's go ahead and demo all of these applications so let's go ahead and do text pad first so as you can see text pad inherits the brand new interface and it also has in parentheses text pad and it works the same way as usual. We'll just make a stick figure that has a strangely small head. There we go. Let's just put it out of its misery and give it a big head. <laughs> there we go. So that's all there is to it. And now we also have calculator calc for short and it runs on the command line now so you can choose an operator you can do division 6 divided by 5 is 1 remainder of 1 that is correct and we can always press escape to cancel the operation and actually I have finally fixed the glitch where the clock up there doesn't update so that's pretty cool so if I were to wait for a minute without typing anything the clock would update so I also have rend image which is a way to render images in shuriken let's just choose my favorite one frog isn't that beautiful <laughs> so yeah and then you also have graphics which is an experimental executable I'm gonna press escape for now because I don't feel like rebooting and let's go ahead and do list dir again. 
So you can also run Miner. Miner is a new application, and it's basically just a game where you can. It's basically kind of like Snake, where you have to grab diamonds and avoid X's, and each time you grab a diamond, a new X is added. So this is, one is my personal favorite because it's the only like real game in the operating system. So yeah, I lost there. And last but not least we have drawer and guesser. So let's do drawer first. Is basically just a line drawing program and you can actually cross the lines as well or diverge from one so I think that's pretty cool so that's all there is to that one and then finally we have guesser which basically has you try to guess a number between 0 and 9. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's try 0, maybe 1. Oh, <laughs> 0 was the correct one. <laughs> so yeah, you basically have to guess the number correctly. Maybe 3. Maybe five, seven? Ah, oh, it was two. <laughs> so yeah, that's another k sort of kind of like game kind of thing. And also, if we happen to try to execute a image file, it won't let me. It will say error, shuriken cannot execute this file in black and red text so basically every time there's an error it will show up in black and red text so if I do 9 divided by 0 I get error divided by 0 which is accurate so let's escape and yeah that's really all there is to shuriken for now Thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, give it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will be trying to upload as often as I can. Probably at least once a week. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.